All right, today we are in Palaka, Florida, and it's a little late in the day. I think we missed their William Bartram frolic, I think it's called, that they have because all the tents are being taken down and uh, empty. So it is 1.30 in the afternoon, so they shut down early. Yeah. <laughs> Today I have a special guest, and that is my mother, and she doesn't want to be on camera either, but unlike my girlfriend, she'll actually talk, so um, I guess we'll go and see if we can't find something else to film since we drove all the way out here for their festival. Be right back. Alright, so today we're just going to go over and see East Palaka. And uh, we're going over to St. John's River Bridge here that goes from Palaka to East Palaka. And it doesn't look like there's any sailboats out, unfortunately. A lot of times in the afternoon you can find some really pretty sailboats out there. Of course, you can't see the water anyway because of that railing. steamboat underwater. Okay, let's see. Try to show this statue here at the foot of the bridge. Those have been there forever. It's been there since I was a little boy anyway, which again would be in the 1970s. I think it was when they put, first put the first bridge up. That's the second bridge was there now. Oh, so those have been there predating that bridge. Okay, we're now in East Palaka. And East Palaka is pretty small. It's uh, not as big as Palaka. They got an Ace Hardware. And uh, Farm Bureau Insurance. I know that's thrilling. And they do have a Hitchcock's Plaza over here. But I can't show that because my mama doesn't want to be on film, so maybe on the way back we'll pull through there. I don't know. Depends on how she feels. My mama is how old? 77. 77, so she's doing me a solid today to drive me around to make this video. There's Popeye's Chicken. That's new. There's Quirky Bells, which is the best restaurant if you ever are in Palaka. You'll want to go. Look, it's crowded. Yep. Corky Bells is always crowded. That's like the gold standard for restaurants around here. So, good seafood. And I think they have gator tail there. If you really wanted to have some gator tail. Yeah, they do. Which is, uh, if you've never had it, it tastes like... I think they have frog, too. Tastes like really fishy chicken. Like if you were eating your chicken and you got a little bit of fish taste running through it. That's the best way to describe it to me anyway. And I thought that said Loser Center, but it says Laser Center. Yeah. There's the stand right there. Closed. And uh, the Plaque State Farmer's Market. Now, if you were coming through here from, say, Gainesville or something, and you were going to the beach, you'd turn right here to go to St. Augustine. But we're not going to St. Augustine today. Um, if you go straight, you could go to Daytona. You could go to Daytona or St. Augustine, either way, really. Although that would, to the left here, would be the quickest way to go to St. Augustine. They got a Circle K there. Circle K has a Hardee's in it. When we first moved up here, none of this stuff was here. Yeah, they're, they're, this is all built up. And this is about going to do it for East Palaka. 
Um, I think we're gonna drive down the way a few miles and go check out the Honor System honey stand they have. And that is a pretty neat little thing that's been there. That also has been there forever as far as I can remember. Um, there's big boys play toys where they have, I guess they sell boats. The Honor System honey stand is really neat because they have the honey sitting out on a table. And you know, you put your money in and take your honey and there's nobody working there or anything like that. So. Okay, we're coming up on the way station. There's an Adam and Eve adult store out in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like a, one of them aimless drivers done found someone to pull over. Okay, and then I think up here is a fairly famous bar for the area, and I can't remember what it's called. We'll find out when we go by. Giants. Yeah, Cheyenne Saloon, which a lot of people go there to party. Alright, so I think there's pretty much nothing else to show down here for till we get to that honey stand, so I'll shut it off and we'll be back at the honey stand. Okay, we are at the Honor System Honey Place I was talking about. And they have like a little library there where you could leave a book, take a book. I always like looking in these just in case there's something I'm interested in. And it does not look like there's anything that interests me in there. So that is very cool though. Littlefreelibrary.org. Take a book, share a book. And this is the little honey stand now. Nobody works here. It is the uh, honor system. So they leave the honey sit out here. And if you were to purchase a thing of honey for $15 or $20, they're marked on the lid there. Um, if you were to purchase this, you put the money in the box right here. And they have one of those old timey lamps too. I guess those aren't I guess those aren't authentic from the 50s. I guess that's just like reproduction. But I saw one of these in my Johnson video too out in somebody's yard, so that's pretty cool. All right, this is the Raw Honey Honor System, and somewhere out here I do believe they have a camera. So it's not really the Honor System. If you tried to steal their honey, they'd get you, but... And maybe sometimes I think they may have honey in here too, but not today. But uh, that is very cool. All right, I guess we'll go now and show the... hit. Hitchcock's Plaza in East Palaka. Okay, we are back in East Palaka. That little honey stand, by the way, I believe is San Mateo. Yeah. There's East Palaka's Dollar General. Try to get good and zoomed out there. Okay, now this is the road here that would go to St. Augustine. And St. Augustine sure is a pretty little city. I do, I do like St. Augustine. And it uh, looks like they're having some pro wrestling. The Grace Fellowship Church. That's the Grace Fellowship Church. April 22nd, so I think that's past. Or is that today? Or I don't even know. But we have a pro wrestling thing coming to Interlochen too, so that might be the same event. Can you see the date? 
I don't know. It's April 16th, so. So you missed the one in Galactic. The thing, it's not until the 20th. The interlocking one is the 24th. So, I may make a video of some pro wrestling, although it's, you know, a smaller, smaller outfit. There's Sunrise Marine. And we're going to pull into Dunkin' Donuts. My mama wants to get a donut, I guess. Is that it? Oh my goodness. Can you put the camera up because I'm gonna talk? Yeah. Alright, I'll shut this off and we'll be right back after we get our healthy donuts. Alright, we're leaving the Dunkin' Donuts. We got a dozen donuts, so uh, it was pretty. My girlfriend does not like Dunkin' Donuts. She only likes Krispy Kreme donuts. But I'm kind of with her on that, but I guess a donut's a donut, kind of like a well, pizza's a pizza. I get what I like sometimes, and I like donut right. donuts. No such thing as a bad donut. <laughs> no such thing as a bad pizza. No. Okay, so we're going to pull right back out on here, onto the main road here. And we're just going to drive through the Hitchcock's Plaza because Hitchcock's Plazas are kind of like my thing along with Dollar General. I like to show them. Uh, it's a little bit further up. Down this road is where the fairgrounds are. Yep. Oh, I think that's a little further back, but I think you can get to it from there. You can. That's a new raceway they built. And they offer Hunt Brothers Pizza. Now this Burger King uh, used to be on the opposite side of the road, but they put it over here. Burger King does that a lot in Palaka. They're, uh, they switch sides of the road. And we're just going to do a real quick drive through of this Hitchcock's Plaza and then we'll say goodbye for the day. So let's see, I think this is now the fourth Hitchcock's Plaza that I've shown. Now if you would just drive up there. Yeah, around and let me just show everybody what's in the Hitchcock's Plaza in East Palaka. I have to explain this to my mama. James, the other James, has it down. But, uh, this is James number two's first time out, so. And James is not quite a Jeff Gordon. James number two is not quite a Jeff Gordon Mario Andretti type. So maybe we'll get a nice slow roll by to Hitchcock's Plaza. Cakes for sale for the Cup Scouts, for the Boy Scouts. Well, there's the Boy Scouts out selling something. And again, I'm as zoomed out as I can be. Uh, I wish this camera would zoom out a little bit more. It looks like they have a liquor store, another family dollar inside of a plaza, which is unusual. And they have Antonio's Pizza, Smoking Jays, and Paradise Internet Cafe, which looks like it's been gone quite a while. All right then, I guess that's gonna do it for this video. You know what? Since we're going down this way, I'll roll it down and we'll see the, uh, I'll show you the, uh, what's it called? The Seminole Electric Plant from the bridge. I can't really show you water or boats from the bridge, but you can see the Seminole Electric Plant.
This is State Road 100. Seminole has been in this um, city since at least 1981. Yeah, I camped there uh, in Boy Scouts. We camped at the Seminole Electric Plant outside in the in the forest around it once upon a time. That would have probably been 84, 85. Probably. And we got to go in and tour it and everything else. And, it, you know, when you see it, it'll look like it's fairly close, but it's actually pretty far away. A closed down car wash. That used to be the highway patrol station, but it's now closed. Department of Motor Vehicles. Long gone. I don't know where they even moved it to, if they even did move it or they just shut it down. Alright, let's see what we can get over this bridge. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. I thank you for watching. Always appreciate when I look at my analytics and see that, you know, people watch most of my videos. So. And I showed you the statue on the other side of the bridge. They have them on both sides and at both ends of the bridge. So military statue. Okay, now there is Seminole off in the distance. Try to zoom it in. I can't really see it on my viewfinder screen. So, that ain't gonna work, but that is the Seminole Electric Plant that powers most of the uh, North, you know, Florida Putnam County area and maybe even beyond. So, I'm hoping you can see that. I can't see anything on my viewfinder screen. Alright then everybody, I thank you much for watching and we will see you next time. Peace out. Say bye mama. Bye bye. Now I want to say one more thing. Palaka used to be the honeymoon capital of Florida. Yeah, there's a song about that by, I can't remember the guy's name. Mark Smith. Mark Smith. If you, I think it might be on YouTube. It's called Honeymoon in Palaka. So, Mark Smith, Honeymoon and Palaka, you might be able to find that. There is Angel's Diner, which is an old diner in a, I guess a train car. It's also in Mark's uh, song. Yeah, he mentions that in a song. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace out.